Well, I have maintained in all my interviews and talks that it is very unlikely for the government of India to completely ban transactions in cryptocurrency. They could have done that some years back when the concept was fairly new, the concept of cryptocurrency, when it was just at the threshold or doorstep or perhaps in 2020 when the Supreme Court had struck down the directive of the Reserve Bank of India to, to the banks to not to engage in facilitating cryptocurrency transactions. Perhaps that was the time to ban. Today it has become big, big like a mammoth crowd on the, on the streets and, and majority of the, of the crowd being youngsters. This fact was acknowledged by the uh, finance minister Nirmala Sitaraman recently uh, during her budget speech when she said that there has been there has been a phenomenal increase in transactions in virtual assets. The magnitude and frequency of these transactions, she said, have made it imperative for the government to provide for a specific tax regime. Hence, the finance minister proposed a 30% tax on income from the transfer of any virtual digital asset. Now, you know, except for, for the cost of acquisition, uh, you know, no deduction is permissible. Further, losses from such transfers cannot be set off against any income. And also, you know, tax will be deducted at source at the rate of 1% so as to capture, identify the transaction's details. It is obviously treated as a high risk speculative investment by the government. I assume that government of India does not have a very serious reservations or issues regarding cryptocurrency investments. They don't have, I think. The worry is predominantly regarding cryptocurrency transactions becoming a means of money laundering, terror financing, drug dealings and other criminal activities. That's their worry. And yes, these investments being very unpredictable in nature as they are not backed by any tangible you know, guarantee or tangibility. That is another serious concern which government faces. In effect, these transactions are not underwritten uh, by anyone. So it's very close to being a gambling, I feel. But I'm sure that IMF, International Monetary Fund and FATF, that is Financial Action Task Force, both being global institutions, will come up with some robust model regulatory laws with dealing with the digital assets and cryptocurrency. Because these global agencies do not seem to be against cryptocurrency. Though the current settled law laid down by the courts is that if the business is illegal, neither the profits earned nor the losses incurred would be enforceable in law. But that does not take the profits out of the taxing statute or the taxing regime. However, I do not place cryptocurrency transactions under the illegal category, but I will definitely brand them as unregulated category investment at your own risk. But we shall have to wait, I feel, and, and we have to see which way the wind blows eventually.